Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director of Fernando Goldman and Associates, a firm that's a primary focus on family law. And today we're going to talk about something really important, and that is finances in a divorce. So please subscribe to our channel. How does one prepare their finances in a divorce? Well, you have to understand something. The law, and therefore the court, is likely to issue a status quo order. As soon as the judgment, the complaint for divorce is filed and the, and the case is started, the court is going to likely issue a status quo order that basically says all the financial things that have been going on, they have to continue. All the bills that were paid, you have to maintain them. You can't let the house go into foreclosure. You can't let the utilities be shut off. You can't do all these things. So when you're talking about getting divorced, you got to understand you're going to need to maintain the finances. Just like what you were paying before, you're still going to have to do it. You may say to someone, so what? I mean, that's the point. I was doing it before. I'll do it now. No problem. Yes, no problem so long as it's one household. But if you plan in order to preserve the domestic tranquility to depart from the household and get an apartment, buy a condo, set up you know, a, a, a household somewhere else, now you've got to pay for two households. And you got to prepare for that. And just because you decide to pick up and leave doesn't mean the court's going to say, well, you got those bills, you don't have to pay these. The court's going to make you pay them. You don't have to pay them anyway. So if you, have to, uh, you have to realize that, look, things are unpleasant, but I don't want to pick up the expenses of two households, so I've got to weigh out the, the, the benefits and the burdens. The benefit is I get out and I, and I, I st stop the escalation of the drama by removing myself from that kind of environment. The burden is you still got to contribute as you were before. So if you and your soon-to-be ex were splitting those bills, you're still going to have to pay your split all the while financing another household. So when we talk about preparing your finances, one of the things you got to prepare for is this divorce, especially if it's with children, could easily take six months, nine months, even 12 months. How are you going to prepare for your living expenses? Let's presume your salary is going to stay the same, but now you may have the burden of additional expenses. Of course, you're going to be financing the divorce, and if the other side doesn't work, you're probably going to end up paying legal fees on both ends. You've got that. You may have two households. You may have other things, so you need to prepare strategically for that. If you have any questions about that or what that strategy might look like, give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out.